business point of view, from a marketing man's point of view, I tell you, you, you often hear things about Google Panda and Google Penguin and these penalties. So can you throw a little light about what is this and how it relates to SEO? What is this? Sure. Yeah. Uh, well, the, the, the traffic from Google is so valuable that it's a huge target for attacks by spammers and so on because there's always been this attitude that if you can hack your way through the algorithm <laughs> and you can get business free. And so there's a huge amount of um, effort out there on the web to subvert the complex algorithm that Google uses to, to work out who goes where in the search results. And so what Google's done to counter all of this is to create these different algorithm add-ons or changes that they run through periodically which punish certain sorts of manipulative behaviour. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to reward the businesses that that deserve to be in those top places rather than the people who are smart enough to hack their way there. <laughs> and so the people who are using Google search then get a good result. If they search for a particular thing, they'll get a high quality result rather than someone who has just got a thin page that doesn't suit to be there. So Penguin penalizes link manipulation, which is the backlinks at the point of the site, and uh, Panda penalizes a range of things, technical compliance, duplication, and uh, thin content, among other things. And there are several other updates as well that they've put through which punish different types of manipulative behaviour. And uh, this is part of the job in the SEO world is to stay ahead of all these things because they don't announce them. Spoken like a true SEO expert, I mean, really, I mean, I mean, our mind is boggling already trying to make sense about that. I'll ask you one last question here. Yeah. There's a lot of talk out there about social SEO. Yeah. So with social media context and how is SEO traditionally how has it moved to social SEO and how has the content marketing game changed with all of social media and the proliferation of all these channels out there? Sure. Yeah? Um, social media gives really strong popularity signals. Uh, if, if you're a big brand, you're going to be fairly popular on social media. There will be a lot of people following you and talking about you. And so that's become a, a, quite an important signal for ranking and the search engines as well. Um, with, with our clients, we always recommend that you take all of these approaches simultaneously. So you have a really good social media platform so that you can connect with all of your customers and your value there. You create great content, you publish regularly, and you really focus on that. You really focus on that. And you make sure you do the foundation of SEO as well. And you get all those things lined up and things are going very well. You take any of those out the mix and things start to drop off. So they're all, all important parts of the same puzzle. Fantastic answers, man. Thanks so much, Mike. Thank it's been welcome. a pleasure. Look, this guy just speaks like a textbook. He is an SEO guru himself. I'm so glad to be here and to have a chat with you. <laughs> and uh, Mike Morgan and Midge, who's not who's who doesn't want to be on camera, but the two of them. It's always a pleasure to see you guys. Like I said in the starting here, yeah, what's the ROI of mm -hmm. socials is to meet people like this and make friends with them. Thanks very much, Mike. Yep. Thank you so much, man. All the best. Always a pleasure, man. Cheers, guys. Yeah.